I'm now going to show you how to build a complete skateboard. Uh, the things you're going to need are some tools. Um, first is a knife, and that's going to be to cut the grip tape. A skate key, which works on all the nuts on the skateboard, and it also comes with a little Phillips and Allen key. Then you also have a screwdriver, and this is to scrape around the grip tape before you cut it. Then the actual components of the skateboard, you have the skateboard truck, um, and you have the bearings. This is what goes inside the wheels and attaches to the skateboard truck. The mounting bolts, that's what attaches the truck to the deck. Skateboard wheel, very important because you can't go anywhere without these. And I have these bushings because I'm a bit bigger guy and I like them a little bit harder, so I replace the soft ones in there. And then the important thing, the skateboard deck. And also the grip tape which goes on top of it. And that's all you're going to need. All the grip tape you buy is adhesive, so you just peel the backs off. Now when I peel it, I don't like to peel the whole thing off, I do it a little bit at a time, that way you don't get air bubbles. So next you put the wheels onto the skateboard truck. Um, you get your skateboard tool, uh, you loosen off all the axle nuts. Now on the trucks, there's always two washers. So you always want to leave one washer on the inside. You put both bearings on. Oops. Push down. Go straight in, turn it over. Push down again. Put the other washer on. It's a good idea to tighten them pretty tight and then back them off. So, okay, see when you tighten them up, it doesn't spin. So then once you do that, you back them off a little bit. The wheel has a little bit of a play in it, and that way it spins freer. Another thing to remember is never use a tool that's longer than these, because if, if you have too much leverage, you'll crank it down too much, you can break the bearings. So always just use the length of a skate tool. And that's pretty much it. That's the wheels on the trucks. You take the skateboard deck, you can't see the holes on top of the skateboard deck, so you turn it up and you take one of the mounting bolts and you just push it through from the underneath and you can see it come through the top of the grip tape. You take a Phillips head and you just push against that and you spin it. So you do that on all four and then you take the mounting bolts and they just slide through nice and easy. And then they're all through and then you just hold your hand against the, the top, lay it down. Take the truck and you always make sure that the kingpin, which is this part, which is what the, the truck turns on, is facing towards the center of the board. Uh, you take the nuts and just put them on lightly. So, and then that's just attached loosely. And what you do, you lay it sideways on the table. Take your skate key and we'll use the Phillips head that's in here. So there's a little Phillips head in here. You hold this side and then you just tighten these. The best thing to do is tighten them down snug, diagonally. That way the, the truck gets pulled down Straight, like uh, straight on your board, so you do this top, you do the bottom one first, and you go diagonally across and do this one. And you don't crank them down like hard straight away, you just do them lightly first. You just want to tighten it until it's nice and snug, nice and level with the grip tape. Now if you're going to be buying the larger cruiser wheels, you're going to need riser pads. They rise the board from the wheel. So, because these wheels are so large, they're going to be, with these regular trucks on the board, they're going to be almost scraping the wood. So you buy these riser pads, and they go underneath the truck when you're bolting them on. So you just want them to a point where they're off the board, enough where you can carve down the street. Okay, so once you have your board put together, what you want to do, take the skateboard and put it on the ground to stand on it and get the feel of the way the trucks, like the looseness of the trucks under your feet. For me personally, um, I know just from years of skating that I need a little bit harder bushing. So I always automatically change them to a medium bushing. Um, and that's pretty easy to do, you just take your skate key, undo the nuts and the kingpins, and everything just lifts off. And then when you're putting the uh, pivot bushes back in, there's always two different sizes, a large one and a small one. The large one always goes in the bottom, making sure that the, the thinner side goes face down. Put the hanger back on, and the top one goes on facing upwards. And the top washer goes on top. When you're putting the nut on, you always got to make sure that the, the, the lock nut, which is a little like a rubber in top of the nut, gets onto the kingpin. That way it doesn't fly off while you're rolling down the hill. That's very important. 
The kingpin should be always sticking out a little bit. Um, that's just so the nut will stay on for the whole time you're skateboarding. And then again, you flip it over, put it on the ground, see how it feels. And once you start skateboarding, the bushings will eventually wear in and get a little bit softer. So you'll always be adjusting it as, as the board gets worn in. Um, and from there, just go out and skate, have fun and enjoy, enjoy the ride.